Hello besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We have another tea pop culture reading and you know I'm your favorite girl. Call me Kermit the Frog. Ribbit ribbit bitch. I'm here to spill the tea and nothing but the tea. So rumor has it on the set of anyone but you, Sarah Sweeney, who's in you in she's in Euphoria. Can I talk? No. Um I've never seen Euphoria. And then we have Glenn Powell, who is in Top Gun, come together, collab for anyone but you. And then all of a sudden, Glenn had a girlfriend of three years, and she unfollowed Sarah online. So they look an extra cozy on the red carpet, in the ocean, doing what they're doing. So we're going to get the energy between Sarah and, I'm going to shuffle these cards first, Sarah and Glenn first, and then I want to see what um, the energy between Gigi Paris, who's Glenn's girlfriend, with everyone else. Okay. One final shuffle. Okay. Let's get started. So let's start with Sarah first. <laughs> She's in her nine of pentacles energy. So she's all about independence, financially secure, knowing your worth, you know, working hard and seeing the fruits of your labor, which makes sense. Um, it's definitely a thriving business. She's a hot commodity. I mean, she's in a movie. She's trying to work her way up to the A-list stars. Let's see what Glenn is. Tower moment. Love that. So, um, chaos, destruction, unexpected change, definitely a lot of confusion, probably about his feelings. Um, Gigi going probably out of his life because this also leads to, I know they weren't married, but divorce, you know, just your whole world being turned upside down, right? What's the energy between them? Dreams. Okay, lots of options, choices. Definitely, it's, they're living in fantasy land. <laughs> They had this whole fantasy like played out, wishful thinking, you know, it's all exciting and fun and games when you're like sneaking around. I wouldn't know, I've never cheated on anyone, but from what I heard, sneaking around behind people's backs and then once you get caught, it's like, do you really want to be with this person or was it the thrill of it? We'll see. Let's pull some more cards for Sarah first. Okay, the hermit mode, yeah, she's soul searching, she might become the loner, go into hiding, definitely trying to listen to that inner guidance that she has. Yeah, lack of money, poor financial control, lack of opportunities. It's not always great to be the other woman. Obviously, I think he's more at fault because he had a relationship, but at the same time, it takes two to tango. Just saying. And then, yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, that's karmic cycles, not learning a karmic pattern, healing those wounds. It's bad luck. It's out of your control. It's unwelcome change. It's delays or setbacks in your life. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what he represents. He, Glenn is the lovely three of wands. So that means travel forward thinking, planning, no longer looking back to the past, um, happy with your choices and outcome. The hard work is paying off because you're experiencing life going about it. Yeah, there's two of swords. So there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. We're going to see what he did, torn between two people, divided loyalty, and you need to face your fears. Um, we have the six of wands in the reverse. So that is basically trouble, um, lack of progress, or feeling like you're just stuck stagnant. I think he wanted something different, something to make him feel young. Um, the energy between them is the star. So that makes sense. They're both celebrities. They both want to be in the limelight. It gives the girls something to talk about and see where it goes. But I think they have hope that this is going to work out and creativity. But like this relationship is very imbalanced with the temperance in the reverse. It was definitely a moment of weakness, a self-indulgence, a gaining a new perspective, but it was reckless. You know, how hard is it to pick up the phone and call um, your lover and tell him, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore before you go cheat. I don't know what it is about that. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse in the energy between them right now, which is seduction, lies, strictness, you know, someone who tries to push their morals and values onto each other. And yeah, this happened so fast. I, It seems like it just... They didn't even get time to really get to know each other. It's one of those things where it's like really fast speed communication. 
and things are rushing in. It's definitely a travel romance, like, you know, when it's like hot girl summer, like cuffing season, that's what it's reminding me of. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to move to, let me split the deck again. We're going to move to Gigi's energy and the rest of the people. So we'll go Gigi first. How does she feel about Glenn? Yeah, delayed news, patience. Yeah. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. I think she doesn't care about his feelings. I think she's on this vengeance mode. Um, she's guarded and feel and very unconcerned about what could come. And then he is representing the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after, dysfunctional family, broken home, lack of security and stability, the energy between them. Yeah, judgment. You reap what you sow. Whatever you give out in your life is what you're going to give back. And I think it's realizing you met your match and now you're going to have to deal with it. Let's go back to Gigi. Yeah, she resigned this to fate. She was feeling overburdened, overwhelmed with what was happening, being in the news. And it's resigned to fate. It's like, you know, flogging a dead horse and like expecting it to move. Yeah, she feels left out in the cold. I mean, five of pentacles is the poverty, feeling lost, you know, feeling like the world's against you, that you're in a struggle, bad luck. And Things are going to work out for her. I mean, we saw what happened with Adriana Maddox when she got cheated on. She got offered a Lifetime movie. Things are coming into fruition. She might go ahead and engulf herself into work and really persevere and make him, show him what he's missing is moral of the story. He's in the energy of, yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. So a missed opportunity. It's out of his control. It was tactless, you know, it's hurtful and definitely went against the plans that he thought he originally was going to have. But now there are some regrets on how it ended with the four of cups upright, refusing offers, you know, it's missed opportunity, stagnation, but it's once again, you're in that fantasy daydreaming mode. And I think that's where he got caught up in this energy. Yeah. He feels restricted by her. I don't know. She wears the pants in the relationship, but she, he definitely feels trapped, backed into a corner. He is like, I have a blindfold on. I can't see What's happening to me? The energy between them. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Insecurity, you know, lack of motivation. This is going to stick with her for a while on these insecurities. She's going to have to rebuild up her self-esteem and, you know, someone who is definitely suspicious that something's happening in the home life. The energy between them right now is, yeah, we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this is not enough love to keep this energy going. It's all an illusion. It's idle, or it's lies. It's definitely egotistical and, and poor personal boundaries. I think Sarah might have made the original start. But the energy between them, I think they are using this as an escape. She definitely feels stabbed in the back, but she's pulling herself together. She's learning from her past hardships. But her fears came true. I don't know if she's been cheated on before, but he's not making her feel too secure in this relationship. Okay, let's get the energy between Gigi first and then Sarah second. What's Gigi's energy? King of Cups, someone who understands the motives, is very emotionally intelligent. We have this upright, definitely a mature, emotional, stable person. Meanwhile, yeah. Sarah's representing um, the Four of Swords in the reverse. Definitely, she's coming out of isolation. She's trying to put herself back out there. The energy between them, yeah, not good. Um, Six of Pentacles, unpaid bills, money problems, bad debts, greed, selfishness. So I think Gigi views Sarah as someone who has a lot of things handed to her and the greed got to her, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. But... Back to Gigi, yeah. She sees the light at the end of the tunnel with this situation. She's making the best of it. She's recovering, letting go of negativity and stress. And she wants this happily ever after. I think she thought Glenn was going to be that person, but she's still wishing for that ideal marriage, that ideal family life, and really reminiscing on a life partner. Meanwhile, Sarah is letting go of her past, focusing in on her future. I mean, she might have some child trauma, abandonment issues, neglect, um, allegedly, but usually that card kind of shows in the reverse with that. And yeah, it's definitely karmic justice. Um, so she's reaping what she sows. How you get them is how you lose them. 
but she has to learn this life lesson. It's a karmic lesson that she needs to figure out, understand, and move forward with. Yeah, she is trying to release her pain with this, but the Three of Swords is like overcoming depression, optimism, and things. But she's a little codependent, I'm not going to lie. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, when that's upright, that's talking about, you know, being codependent. When it's in the reverse, it's shedding the old letting go possess or possessions, people, places, and things. I think it's more of a sense of I want him, I have him, but I trapped him anyways because it seems like this the idea of love and trusting her intuition, I don't know if she's a hopeful romantic, but you know, I think they were definitely cutting the ties between the situation. The energy between them, challenging tradition, unstatus quo, definitely unconventional relationships. I mean, when it's upright, the higher font represents marriage. So she, I think Gigi might view Sarah as a person that took away her heart, her happily ever after at this point in time, but there needed to be a death. So she was just the catalyst. Sarah was just the catalyst for this to push Gigi into a spiritual awakening, a new beginning, a transformation, and in sudden endings or expected upheaval in their lives. I think, you know, it's definitely the energy of finding that strength moving forward finding your own abundance and having that control of your life, right? No longer doubting yourself. One of them could be a Leo, but really in August, I Gigi could get her life completely turned around. Summertime, engulf in hot girl summer, which we'd love to see out here, but there's definitely something going on. Let's move to LaRasha's Goddess Queen, just me, 23's deck, and figure out what else we need to know about this connection. Okay, let's see. Let's do Sarah first. Sarah believes that this is a soulmate connection, that they came together. It was destined to be. Glenn is showing up as he's putting himself as the main priority. I think maybe he neglected his happiness in the past, and this is what is making him happy. In the middle, the energy between them. <laughs> energy vampires. So definitely they feed off of each other. I slept with the wrong spirit. Succubus, incubus energy. Let's jump back to Sarah over here. Yeah, she is getting a lot of signs and synchronicities, whether they are good or bad. She needs to pay attention to that. I think she's a very feisty girl. She goes after what she wants. Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't know her sign, but it's definitely she acts and thinks later is the vibe I'm getting. It's very impulsive where she wants more, more, more this abundance. She's trying to accept all positive outcomes, that sudden wealth. And she just wants her happily ever after. But I don't think she's going to respect the fact that there was a third person involved in this. And she caused this because Glenn's energy is the diet change. So change in morals, values, ideals. That could be a change in a person as well. Yeah, he's a little pissed off at himself, I would assume, or the situation. Angry with rage, about ready to fuck everyone and everything up. And that's because he failed to put up personal boundaries. He didn't make a good decision. You know, mess with the bulls, you get the horns. And he's going to realize not everyone's here for his best intentions. Psalms 23, Pharaoh's Awakening. I prepare my table in front of me in the presence of my enemies. So wolves in sheep clothing could be his friends, could be her, but it's definitely messing with his root chakra. So his survival instinct, feeling stable, feeling calm, really understanding that it's putting them in a very vulnerable situation. He's leading with that heart space right now at the moment. The energy between them right now is allegedly for entertainment purposes only, um, I'm going to not say that. So moving along, nostalgia. So I think it's a situation where she makes him feel young, hip, alive. Kind of a lot like a Tom Sandoval in like a Raquel situation. I don't know if there's a huge age gap between them. I think there probably is since she's starring on Euphoria and he was in Top Gun however long ago. It's kind of like he wants to protect her, be her provider, and kind of give that, I don't want to say daddy energy, but like, 
she's like a damsel in distress. She's very naive is what I'm getting. And he wants to provide for her, but they're going to get receipts. Something's going to come out. Something's going to get leaked. I mean, there's already so many photos you can tell from the thumbnail of them being a little too close for comfort. Proof is in the pudding. Also, Gigi unfollowed um, Sarah on Instagram. So but these two think that they're going to come together and celebrate, but one of them is going to become the runner, get very much in their ego, and decide to walk away. So fear that you don't want to commit, move forward, and so on and so forth. But let's see the energy between Sarah and, or we already did Sarah, Glenn and Gigi. So starting out with Gigi, yeah, she's done. The Reaper, watch my second exit. Like, no second chances by she knows her worth, and he is up as the free will. So, solar plexus chakra you have that you can stand in your power and have the free will to say yes or no. You don't just trip and fall on a dick. I'm just saying you could, but I don't think that's happening. The energy between them is, yeah, spiritual ascension. So, they outgrew each other. I think Gigi out ascended. Her partner and she's a phoenix rising getting out of the matrix and as you level up you can't take everyone with you her energy is ain't nothing to cut a bitch off she could be an air sign i don't know what her sign is aries leo sag or aries leo sag i meant gemini libra aquarius um with Gigi, but she's ready to cut it off even though she loves him and cares for him unconditionally she loves herself more and I think that's the priority we need to understand. So she is very, a little cold and calculated right now. She removed her emotions. She's thinking with her head or her head right now, and she's doing what's best for her. Um, and meanwhile, he's showing up as in it to win it, in it to lose it. He's either the superhero or the villain. I think he's fitting more of the villain era. But this was due to divine timing. There was a lot of probably hints or things that were happening between them that neither of them wanted to discuss and the relationship something along those lines and god universe source was like no we're calling time on this he is definitely a karmic lover of hers the black widow so a karmic person from a past life that's hidden by the fail of beliefs and really it's a hard to break cord maybe that's why they originally kind of maybe could have been on again off again doing breaks things like that but the middle between them, I think he knows that she deserves better, that she's a whole entire vibe. Her energy does not lie. And I think they realize now, after this, there's no coming back. Karmic lover. Lower negative vibrational energy. Toxic, unhealthy connection. Allegedly mental, physical, verbal. A word there. I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just reading what's on the card. But it is that situation where it's very toxic, very unhealthy. And not what anyone deserves to have in their life. Yeah, definitely the situation. There is a, some lies, some de some deception. Um, and having those red flags. So I think a lot was discussed and ignored and tried to move forward from, but it was not successful. Let's go ahead and see the energy. Oh, this card fell. There are also out here we'll start with this one um i'm just saying i think the way they fell in love is like a very much like an mgk and a megan fox to some degree of the whole twin flame journey but they're romanticizing it oh we were meant to be together that's what sarah's probably telling glenn but they have insane chemistry they're marrying each other but if they haven't done the work and it's codependent then guess what it's not going to work out because the whole twin flame journey is about loving yourself right Okay, let's get Gigi out here. Yeah, this is her moment. She was meant to shine, shine bright even if it hurts their eyes. Sarah is showing up as, yeah, twin reunion. She really does think that this is a once-in-a-lifetime twin flame connection. The energy between them, yeah, it's all about the money, greed, codependency, possessiveness. I mean, she, you can't tell me that these people aren't together with this energy, like, between the two girls. No. Yeah, definitely Gigi feels like there are snakes around her. She felt betrayed, enemy fraud, I used to trust you. Definitely a situation where she's trying to open up her heart and forgive and love herself again and give herself grace because this is very traumatic to go through, especially when he's away filming. But she 
Sarah is going ahead and stalking her on social media, seeing what she's up to and with whom. Is Gled still with her? Or I don't know if they live together. She's trying to figure out and test the waters. But Gigi is saging her energy from these toxic people and moving forward. She doesn't want anyone from the past to interrupt this. And she's no longer doubting herself. She is not in denial by any means, but she knows that she has her own self-worth at the end of the day. Sarah is showing up as regret for the energy between Sarah and Gigi. Disappointed. I think she wished she, she would have went about it a different way. But definitely an entanglement. Yeah, three's a party. Um, but there's multiple lovers that could be intertwined with that. That's reading as, hey, this was a love triangle situation to me. And her mask is about ready to come off. I think she's going to maybe they'll have a conversation somehow some way or they already have where she's like oh I fell in love with him it's very much Jennifer Aniston Brad Pitt Angelina Jolie but she's definitely sending GG negative energy by even looking at her Instagram I don't think she's out here doing some spells and some voodoo and some hexing but I think she is sending her negative energy from just looking at it um and the energy between them me time so I think they need space apart obviously um becoming the loner is he really the prize i don't think so but there's this energy of gg's gonna get through this i'm a soul survivor i overcame everything meanwhile you know we just keep radiating this energy of relationship and happily ever after that's living in sarah's head red free but definitely there was a lot of feelings, a lot of hurt emotions in between these two girls as well for, you know, someone's going to take a risk and come forward and probably apologize. I think Sarah's going to try to reach out. Um, I don't think she's going to accept your apology. Uh, yeah, DNA activation. You guys are not on the same level, the same energy wavelength, and she's not going to see your side of this. I'm sorry, my love, but... When you do entangle with the wrong people, you can't expect everyone to be happy for you. Okay, let's jump to the Beach Time Soul Oracle for any other answers we may need. And then I'm going to ask my Angel Answers Oracle deck after that um, some yes-no questions, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Okay, Sarah and Glenn. Yeah, Sarah, the runner. Runner and codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. She might be dip diving and ducking out here. Uh, meanwhile, he's showing up at looking at your old photos, missing you, nostalgia, ready to make some new memories. The energy between them, yeah, unconditional love. It's love bombing. Um, Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Let's go back to Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's the snake. <laughs> She's if it moves and sounds like a snake, it's a snake. She definitely had competition enemy I, looking over her shoulder. She is the other woman. You can see that right there, the other woman. And, you know, relationship over no second chances. I think if she ends up getting bored or moving forward, once it's done, it's done kind of mentality. If she does get really flighty. But yeah, I see on her mind eventually there's always... A breakup, a separation, a abandonment issues, neglect. I think it's a comfort zone thing of needing someone there. Um, and yeah, she wants her happily ever after with the marriage and the engagement ring. She just took it from someone else, it seems like, for this partnership, allegedly. But the real energy with um, for Glenn is that he knows that this is a karmic relationship feeling triggered and turmoil, letting go and trying to love himself. But I don't think that is possible at this moment um, because, you know, he's moving on. I think he just wants to close that chapter behind him with his ex and really, you know, go forward and try to decide, mm, where should I take this with Sarah, you know? And I think he thinks that a ship of abundance is coming in. She's going to solve all his problems. But no, it's codependent. It's addictive relationship. So it's definitely controlling, has blockages, restraint. The way you kind of start that relationship, especially if it's in Mercury retrograde, ugh, that's not going to be too good. But the energy between them, they're talking, trying to get to know each other, being in the moment. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak. They were built on this feeling stabbed in the back. There could be a separation from one end or the other if someone doesn't feel the same way. But it's in a time presence right now it's in a time cycle so everything takes time to heal for that progress that energy 
but someone's gonna make the move and profess their love and they really do strongly believe that they're twin flames together. They're meant to be together in their mind, but it's toxic. If people have it not healed, it's very, very toxic. Okay, let's see the energy between um, Gigi and Glenn. So Gigi is showing up as the Phoenix rising. So she's getting out of the matrix. This is a new phase in her life, transformation, rising from the ashes and building up. He is showing up as coffee cup. He wants to, he wants a friendship between them. Good luck, buddy. I think it's going to take a little more than a coffee date for that. The energy between them, lightning. Um, this is fast upheaval, transformation, sudden change or shocking news, which would make sense. Her energy back here, Gigi's energy is the coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. I think she's being positive about this, being liberated and moving into this new transition into her life. She's ready to follow her passion. She wants a insane chemistry with someone else and I think she will find the love eventually after she takes some time to heal but right now they're mirroring each other so I think she's trying to reflect on her own wounds heal that maybe she's going to therapy but she knows that they still have an energetic cord with them and she's just not dealing with the hurt she's trying to avoid the conversations um, and is still angry and is instilling those boundaries between them Meanwhile, he's showing up as the hand of cards, which is all about taking a risk, being strategic, not showing your emotions. And he thinks he's expanding and growing. And he's like, uh, it's just one of those things where he's in this new phase in his life where he just is thinking, me, 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 self-indulgence. Let me focus on me. What makes me happy? It's like a midlife crisis. Uh, he's a narcissist, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. And with the golden mirror, that's self is self absorbed narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. Just saying, um, I think he'll always have love for her, but I think he got bored and he wants to fall in love with someone else. And the energy between them is heartbroken, um, deeply hurt, mourning the breakup, grieving and moving forward with this. I think they're both spending time with their friends living happily single but I think he's dealing it with one person she might be going out on some dates after she's ready to move on and welcome in love and meet the one I think they're both ready to get together with their perfect match and one thinks they already found it but have faith love is coming Gigi it's just not gonna be with this with Glenn I promise you that but the energy between them is sabotage. I mean, they try to rebuild this and repair it, but it just didn't work out in their favor. That's for sure. Okay, last but not least, before we move into the angel answers, let's get Sarah's and Gigi's energy. Gigi is showing up between them. Um, yeah, she's blessing in disguise. She's just showing up as her independent bad bitch. Someone likes you. Your romance is blooming, fun, flirty. And we have the palm tree in the reverse for um, Sarah, which is all about stability, security, flexibility, going with the flow. So I think that's roles reverse right now. The energy between them is abundance. Um, this is definitely good. All press is good press kind of energy where it's like, I think you're going to get exactly what you want, having that mindset. But I think Gigi's career is kind of going to blow up because she has options, rings or keys on a ring, many options, you know, a decision to make. And I think she is ready for someone who is ready to chase after her and make her feel like she's the only woman. She wants a soulmate. She wants a connection that's going to last a lifetime, a soul connection, a soul contract. Meanwhile, yeah, she wants this wedding. She wants this happily ever after. And I think she believes Sarah took that away from her. But she is elevating her life and showing up as the butterfly with this situation. So the relationship is evolving. She's healing her inner child. She's healing herself and growing. Sarah is, you know, the energy between them separation. They probably are not talking. Unsure of the future. But Sarah's working on healing herself, trying to understand probably why she went about it this way that she did. But I feel like people in the past made her feel like she was not enough. And lack of confidence, self-sabotage brings out the issues. I think Sarah's always going to be wondering about Gigi. Are they talking? Are they hanging out? 
and she they both are stalking each other the middle of the energy with these sunglasses watching lurking stalking gaslighting they're living rent free in each other's heads so with the cassette that's thinking of the same things over and over again and trying to make healthy choices it's a situation and in love and in life you either are happier or you're not and you both of them think that they're going to reveal how happy they are and try to make each other jealous. That's the vibe I'm getting from the girls. But Gigi's really not trying to make her jealous. She's just trying to live her best life. But I think Sarah has other opportunities because the mask card coming out, not showing true feelings, gaslighting, and pretend in between them. Because she did follow her on Instagram and then Gigi unfollowed her. So we might know why now. But okay, cool. Let's move to our Angel Answers Oracle. Let's see. Did Glenn cheat on Gigi with Sarah? Well, it was a money opportunity. We know that for a reason out here. So opportunity, money was involved in this situation. Um... But yeah, I'm going to lead towards yes in this situation because, first of all, we have the yes card. Trust the universe. It was divine timing at this point in time. Um, I think they might have started out as like friends, let me help you, a mentor kind of situation with ask for help from others and helpful people. But yeah, the balance between this, this is where they were in recovery mode. They got to know each other, comfortable around each other. And then the situation kept improving and improving. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out and make a statement on their relationship in the near future, two to four weeks. But if they do it in the time before May 14th, they're in Mercury retrograde. It's not going to last. Um, but I think they're ready for the, this to happen by the end of 2023. That's for sure. Okay, what's the energy between Gigi and Glenn? Yeah, I think it, this was unlikely for them to ever get back together because the answer is yes. Gigi is kind of in her higher self where, you know, Glenn right now is in his shadow side. They were not matching up. They were not giving that equal give and take. They both view this as perfect timing, better now than never. And I feel like they're going to get some closure between each other in that two to four weeks, too, once they kind of make a decision as well. Let's see. Will Sarah and Glenn last? Well, we got the reconsider card. So reconsider your mental clarity. Swords are all about um, communication as well, too. But the answer is no. I don't think they'll be successful. They're trying to be positive about the outlook out here. Um, but within the next few months, I think they're going to clash heads because business is going to get in the way. Their lifestyles are going to get in the way. And they're too busy focused on what's going to be successful and making sure people are talking about them. I think this energy is very like selective and wanting to happen. Maybe they were having problems beforehand and then filming was not a good idea. But let me know how this resonated in the comments below. Do you agree with anything? Do you disagree? I know nothing about these people, but I can clearly say, yes, they hooked up. And I think they're going to try to be in a relationship. And I think Gigi knows about it. So besties, if you like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Check out any of the other readings on my channel and I will talk to you later. Bye.